Hi, I'm Lee Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and in this Final Cut Pro tip, I'm going to show you how to very easily get rid of flicker in your clips. Now, this technique doesn't always work, but it's definitely the first thing you should try before you go and use one of those expensive plugins, which I assure you I've bought, to get rid of flicker. As I said, it doesn't work, so you do still need those expensive plugins sometimes, but check this out. So first of all, let me show you what I mean by flicker. So I'm just going to play this clip. And you can see that I've got some really bad flicker from the lights in this train on my subjects in the hair and the shadows. Now, generally you're going to get flicker when you're trying to shoot at high frame rates or if you've set your shutter speed to a different frequency to electrical stuff. So either, you know, NTSC PAL, 50, 60 frames per second. This was shot at 240 frames per second on my FS5, which can sometimes cause issues with LEDs. So, how am I going to fix it? Well, I'm going to first create a copy of this clip on my primary storyline to the secondary storyline. And how I do that is I hold down the Option key, drag the clip up, and create a copy. I then want to take the clip that I've just created and get it one frame out of phase with the clip beneath it. So I'm, I'm either going to use the period key to go right one frame, or I'm going to use the apostrophe key to go left one frame. And I'll just do that to go left one frame. And then I'm going to set the opacity on this clip to 50%. And hey presto, let's play that back, the flicker is gone. Pretty cool, right? Now, the last thing I'll need to do is get rid of that last frame because it's either it's, it's going to be transitioned with the clip beneath it. So I'm going to hover over there and go option left bracket to just get rid of that. And then I'm going to select the last frame here and go period to pull it one out. Now it matches the frame beneath. And that's a very cool and quick and easy way to get rid of flicker on your clips. For more cool tips and tricks, be sure to check out my blog on my training section of my website, CapturingPassion.com, and we'll uh, catch you next time.